Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey and welcome to another Sims 3 featured house tour of the Merman house. And oh my gosh, my hair is practically glowing. Ah, <laughs> I just recently redyed it. Um, but anyways, this is the Merman beach house built by my good friend Jenny, who I'm sure sounds familiar because we've actually toured one of our homes before. But this one I'm so excited to see because it's for her Merman family, like the title suggests. I love mermaids. I love mermen. I love everything to do with them. So um, I'm really excited to get into this. She did write a small description that says this gorgeous house has two bedrooms and two bathrooms, a balcony in the front, which... Is this the front? I'm not... Yeah. Oh, it is. Okay. The balcony is right there in the middle. Um, it also has a few special rooms that any Mer Sims will love. Mer Sims. I love that. Okay. There's a play area on the dock for the kids to play, complete with a boat, and the house is located on an island, so you will need a boat to get places. And there is one in the, ba in the back. I did go ahead and peek. So let's go ahead and get started with this tour. I am so excited. Okay, so the front of this house has a lot of beautiful landscaping that you could pretty much see already. Um, I'm not, I can't remember exactly what the back looked like. I just took a small peek, but I'm sure it's uh, just as amazing, just as um, blah, 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 just as amazing. <laughs> I can talk. I swear you guys know this by now. I fumble all my words. Um, there are some horse statues, which are really cool. Cute little pathway. And I can already see a fountain inside. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, lots of pretty pink flowers that match my hair. <laughs> uh, and these cute little roundabouts. Roundabouts. I don't know what they're called. These little like rooms that stick out with all the greenery are gorgeous. So gorgeous. I can't wait to actually go inside and explore. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I guess, I guess that's, that's the front. I don't want to show you the back yet. So let's go ahead and go through the front door. Through the front door, through the front door, going through the front door. I see a mermaid and a fountain and I'm super excited already. And another aquarium. Jenny, you know how to get to my heart with these aquariums. Oh my gosh, they're my favorite. Ah, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, it looks like a bathhouse or something. Um, a bathhouse? I don't even know. <laughs> Look at the mermaid. Ah! I love the mermaid statue. Is this really what? I always find things in the game that I don't even know exist, but yeah, apparently there's a mermaid. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love that she's behind glass too. And of course, the aquarium. Yes, yes, the aquarium. I already see a little bit of glitching with the lights going on. Um, oh, I better pause the mysterious portal. We don't care about that, right? <laughs> All right, so there's another mermaid statue, a couple mermaid statues here right at the entrance, very grand entrance, and I guess we'll go in this room first, and the ceilings are kind of glitching out, so sorry, but, oh, okay, so here's that beautiful sectional seating that I loved from the last video when we toured one of our homes. Uh, it, I guess it comes with the, oh, I already forgot, either late night or into the future or something, I don't know. It is part of one of the packs, and I freaked out because I didn't know that the seating was sectional, but yeah, there it is again. We got the TV, uh, over on this side we have, what do we have? The little surfboard chairs. Those are so cute in front of the aquarium. And again, I had to pause it. So sorry, the fishies are just kind of frozen in time, but that's all right. And then there's another little fountain in between there. We have a beautiful easel for painting and a keyboard for your Sims, uh, as well as this beautiful screen. Oh my gosh, that view. I'm already dying. Like, I'm I'm going to not go out there yet. We'll save that for the end, but I'm already dying. Like, this view is amazing. And I actually placed it where she originally built it, I believe. I believe this is the exact lot. Of course, we are in Isla, Isla Paradiso from the Ellen Paradise expansion pack. And then over here, we have another cute little seating area. The colors are so pretty. This definitely looks like a mermaid's or merman's house. And I don't actually have her Sims downloaded, so... Well, I mean, she uses custom content, so that's probably why she didn't send them to me because she knows I don't use custom content, but we have my sim running around who is not a mermaid, but eh. <laughs> what can you do? We can't all be mermaids. All right, so I'm going to just kind of, well, obviously there's a staircase that goes upstairs, a spiral staircase, but I'm going to back up through the wall, sorry, um, and kind of explore a little bit down here first before we check out the upstairs. And it looks like there is a set of doors that goes to that backyard, but again, I kind of, kind of want to save that for the end. So let's see what's through the other side of the house. And we have a kitchen. Oh my gosh. You know what? Sorry, I forgot the lights. Forever forgetting the lights, but they're on now. 
Oh, this is so pretty. It even has like the pretty aquarium wallpaper. Oh, so cute. The silver in the chairs looks absolutely beautiful. That was a great touch to think to do that. Uh, it looks like we have a bathroom through these doors right here. All of these blues are so beautiful, so beautiful. And I see through the mirror, there's a washer and dryer behind us. Um, so cute. Oh my gosh, this is so beachy and beautiful. And pretty much the epitome of like everything that I love in this world. <laughs> Oh, palm trees and the ocean and mermaids and fishies and aquariums and seahorses. Those are the things that I live for. Those are the reasons I moved to Florida. <laughs> and unfortunately, I don't get to see them very often. Oh, look at the columns. So pretty. Um, but yeah, I'm like cooped up at the store all the time. I don't really get to go to the beach that often, but I did get to explore a lot when I first moved here. Uh, there's the snow cone machine and another set of double doors here, which takes us to... Oh, another beautiful room with a fountain. Looks like we have some great seating in here. The little shark poster and the columns and the windows. Oh my gosh, I said I wasn't going to go outside yet, but let's let's just take a second to appreciate these views. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. I don't play with the Island Paradise expansion pack very much because it's laggy, but it seems to be doing fine now. So maybe I'll give it another go one day. This is like the world I want to explore that I've never really explored before. So this is super exciting to be here in this house that Jenny made. And I think that's it for the downstairs. I think it is. Um, I guess maybe mm, let's go upstairs. We'll still save the back for last. So let's go up this spiral staircase and see what happens. And oh, the fireplace is even on. Oh, so cute. So cute. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right, so up here on the second floor, oh my god, these views, look at these, oh my goodness, <gasps> look at the statue up there, I need, oh, I need to explore this world so badly, so badly, all right, so anyways, the staircase kind of brought us to like this weird maze of a hallway, which is awesome, I love it, so we're going down this walkway, and then, um, can we actually get to this room? You can't, you can't, I'm gonna cheat and go through the wall, I see my Sam, do you see her, she's like out there playing in the water. <laughs> you, you can see her from her pink hair. Yeah, it's, we match now. We match now, actually. Uh, I'm gonna go through the wall, so. Whoa, okay, hold on. I gotta go into an aerial view. So this is what we saw from the outside. It is basically, you can't really access it from what I can tell. It's just for, for show. Oh, the fountain in between the, this just looks so cool. Obviously, she created this. She probably had to use a lot of the move object sheets to do this, and it's, glorious, glorious, Jenny. I love it. I'm so happy. Oh, you can see straight downstairs. Like even the carpet from the living room looks like a pool. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, um, I swore I turned on the lights. Did I miss this one? Oh, that's the sink. Um, I don't know. Let's, <laughs> let's go through this door since I just showed you that bathroom anyway. Uh, it's kind of dark in here. Whoopsie. But there you have it. There is two beautiful sinks, very modern in here. Um, looks like the mirrors are glitching out a bit for me. And then there is another set of washer and dryers up here, right next to the beautiful shower. Sorry, I keep I keep hitting that wall. <laughs> and you can see outside, sneak peek. I can't wait to get down there. And then of course there is the toilet. And these walls are beautiful. Everything's beautiful in here. I wish it was a little bit brighter in this room. Um, okay, so there is this balcony that was in the description. That's awesome doesn't look like there's really any furniture up here, but you probably put whatever you want. And on the opposite end of the hallway from when we first came in, it looks like a bedroom. So let's go in here. And oh, the closet. You always make beautiful closets. Very nice job. There is a cute seating area here. And again, all of this furniture with the silver and the light blue and the aquas look absolutely stunning. It's stunning. You would definitely tell mermaids live here. Um, and then over on the side is the bed. Oh, there's a treehouse out back. I love it. <laughs> Beautiful bed. Over in this area is a desk. Again, these metallic chairs are to die for. Um, we have the curtain on the wall just to give a little bit of decoration. It looks awesome. The views, the views, the views, the views, the views. Oh, the views. We'll go out there in a second. <laughs> and then there is a set of double doors. Oh, and there's a bookcase I almost completely missed. Um, these double doors take us to oh, a nursery. Oh my god, the view. Oh, I want to live up here. I want to live here. I want to live here in real life. 
and for my Sims. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a cute view of the tree house. Ah, I love it. All right. <laughs> You need to calm down. Her houses make me shriek. Like, seriously, they're beautiful. Um, we have the changing table, the swing, dollhouse, a bunch of cute toys, a little turtle block set. Oh, pretty swing. And a couple of cribs over here. And, of course, the wallpaper is adorable with the little puppies and kittens. And we have the night lights again. I still haven't figured out what those are from, but so freaking cute. So cute. Oh, these French doors are beautiful. All right, back out into the hallway. I think that's actually it. Um, I'll do a floor plan shot just to make sure I didn't miss anything because you guys know I always miss something, always, without fail. Um, is there anything on this side of the hallway? Or I guess the loft? No, because that's where the stairs were. I think that's it. All right, we'll do the backyard as soon as we do our floor plans. All right, so here's the first floor. Again, we have these awesome, I guess, atriums on either side of the house. And then on the first floor, all the way to the left, we have the kitchen, um, the seating area with the fountain in the middle, and a nice, large, beautiful bathroom. And then straight in the middle of the home is another beautiful seating area with that mermaid fountain that's to die for. And then to the right is the more living, living area with, again, more seating, a beautiful fireplace, the TV, the sectional couch that I love, and an art easel. And and keyboard yeah well we just saw it so I don't know why I'm recapping it that detailed but <laughs> let's go up to the next floor and here is that upstairs with the master bedroom that leads right into the beautiful nursery so cute I really love the loft space and the fact that you can see right into that living room so now let's finally go check out that backyard I've been dying to see whoops <laughs> all right so here we are back downstairs and again this is that gorgeous mermaid statue. So we kind of have to go around this fountain thingy and there is this double door, these double doors right here. Oh my gosh, there's a hot tub. I didn't even know this was back here. And again, it is my favorite hot tub. I love this one with the rocks on it. It looks very spa-like, very, um, very relaxing and soothing. And then, oh, there's a boat across the way, just like jetting by, but here's our personal boat right here which is so awesome i want to build a boathouse too you guys totally i totally want to do that and i will one day oh we've got some beautiful seating back here with an umbrella to keep you nice and shaded uh we have a bonfire i keep getting distracted by that boat <laughs> and a barbecue grill this would be such a gorgeous place to come out here and sit and watch the kids play have a cookout there's my little seahorsey toy thingies <laughs> and a sandbox with the big old turtle so cute and yeah here's the treehouse oh treehouse slide that's so cool that's so cool oh my gosh all right the views the views the view i my dream is to live on a private island guys i that is my dream and oh my gosh i can't even do a favorite shot of the house because this whole shot or the whole shot the whole house is amazing um if i had to absolutely pick one though it would be this room this whole room right here let me get a better angle there we go. Here's my favorite shot. The metallic-y, purplish, bluish couches. I don't even know how you made them look like that. Look amazing. The mermaid fountain, of course. The aquarium. And kind of you got that shot into the backyard with those stunning, amazing, breathtaking views. So, Jenny, thank you so much for sharing this house with me. I've loved touring it. You never cease to amaze me with your builds um, and your photos. I follow her very closely in all of her sims and what they're doing, and I'm so happy to have toured this home. So, if you guys want, of course, I can tour your home or your build, too, if you want. I don't know. Just, just throwing it out there. <laughs> uh, this is what I love to do besides building. So, you can comment below. You can find me on any of the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Google+, YouTube, or if all else fails, email me at thesimmerkey at gmail.com. There's that boat going by. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, please subscribe. Please, please subscribe. That helps my little channel grow. I did recently hit 500 subscribers, which I think is amazing. So thank you guys. That makes me so happy and feel so justified in what I've been doing. I love sharing my homes and homes like this that other Simmers have created with you guys. So yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, submit any of your houses you want me to tour for The Sims 3 or The Sims 4. And I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye! <laughs>